Hey everyone! With the release of Couchbase Server 5.0 and Sync Gateway 1.5, mobile and web clients can seamlessly access documents in the same Couchbase Server bucket. This implies that a document created by a web application via the Couchbase SDK will be automatically replicated to the mobile clients through the Sync Gateway and vice versa. Today, I will demo a travel sample application that will showcase the power of unified bucket access from mobile and web clients. In addition, the sample mobile app is integrated with Couchbase Lite 2.0, which is our latest release of our embedded NoSQL database platform. The mobile app will be exercising some of the powerful SQL-like query capabilities exposed through the new Couchbase Lite 2.0 API. The Travel Sample app simulates a travel application which allows users to make flight reservations from either a travel website or through a mobile app. So let's get started. For convenience, everything in this demo is installed on localhost. We have Couchbase Server 5.0 running with the Travel Sample bucket. If you have an installed Travel Sample bucket on Couchbase uh, Server 5.0 installation, you can do so through the Settings menu under sample buckets. So we'll launch uh, the sync gateway with the default sync gateway config file which you'll see in the which you can download from the github repo that hosts the travel sample application. Here we have the Python travel sample web backend running on localhost 8080. So you go there and this is basically our web application. I'll load the launch the simulator which runs the mobile counterpart of the travel sample app. So the first thing we're going to do is create a user and we can do that through the web application. This user has to be configured in the SyncGateP config file. Sign in. As you can see there are no book flights for this user as one would expect. Logging with the same credentials through the mobile app. Again, as one would expect, no bookings for this user. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create or make a flight reservation through the mobile application. Something that I didn't mention earlier is that I have actually bundled the airport documents with the app. So basically, this airport lookup is a full text search against the local Couchbase mobile 2.0 database. The reason for this is that it's conceivable that in a real world application that you have some semi static data that you would rather pre bundle with the application instead of fetching it from the server every time. So we're going to enter some departure date. And when I do a lookup, this actually does a lookup against the Couchbase server bucket. Only one. Return side. And I will just uh, make a selection here. I'm going to confirm the booking. Here you have it. You can see the corresponding changes reflected on the web application. So basically the document was updated or created through the mobile application and the changes were synchronized over to the web application. Now let's try the other side. We are now going to create our, uh, some file reservations through the web application. So I'm going to go here. This of course is a query against the server. Now this doesn't quite uh, make confirm the reservation. You've just uh, made a selection. The workflow on the web app is slightly different. You've got to go to this shopping cart and confirm the reservation. So confirm this reservation. Confirm that. And as you can see, the changes that you did 
through the web application and now synchronized over to the mobile app. The document, as you would note, from in a web application was actually updated through the Couchbase SDK and this seamlessly gets replicated over to the mobile application side. So essentially you have unified access to the same shared travel sample bucket from both the mobile and the web app. Before uh, we end the demo, there's one quick thing that I'd like to show. On the mobile application, I'd like to show a full text search on hotels. Hotels, uh, as in the case of airports, as with the case of airports, the hotel's document is semi-static information and we have bundled that uh, with the mobile application as well. So I'm going to actually do a full text search on the hotel's document and I'm going to look it up. See there's one match, you can get the details of the hotel as well. Uh, I don't need to call that. There we go. I'm going to try the same search and this is actually going to do you use the nickel query against the Couchbase server. You can see that it's the same. So there you have it, um, converged access from both mobile and web clients to shared Couchbase server bucket. You can see how easy it is. Everything that you saw in the demo today is available for download and you can try it out. And if you're interested in actually setting up the demo, you can do so by following this tutorial, which is available on our developer portal. It takes you through the installation process, it gives you behind the scenes details on the uh, system architecture, the data model that's used, the sync function, the queries that are used, and so on and so forth. So the links to all the resources that were used or all the components that we used in this demo app is available, is listed here. So free feel, uh, feel free to download this and contact us on the Couchbase forums if you have any questions or uh, leave a comment here and we'll get back to you.